M2TM Riffs is freaky. It's a melody maker with legs. It has so much functionality. It's a Max for Live device. It comes from M2TM, who are the developers of Chord. Chord is excellent. I've made a video on Chord, and I think this is really interesting as well. The way it works is you create a MIDI clip, and then what you want to do is select a scale for the song. So I've selected E minor here. And as soon as you do that and click on Generate, it will set up single length notes like this, and will play them like this. So it basically creates this riff for you. So the thing is, you can now change that riff in so many different ways. That riff is playing in the scale of the song, so it's playing in E minor. If you were to change the scale of the song, that riff will change scale to be playing along with that scale. But there's so many things you can do. So for example, we can change the intervals here. So for example, if we have an interval of zero, what that means is that each note being played in the riff, there's no difference between those notes, right? So if we say, for example, the possibility is pretty high that there's no difference between the notes, obviously you'll see all the notes being the same. And we can just remove that and select the possibility of the notes varying by one. So they're just going up and down by one. We can remove that and, and just change A again. These are notes going up by two or down by two. And you can select a combination of one and two, for example. So what this does is just says, this is the probability that the notes will have no interval, one interval, or two intervals. We can select as far up as eight. So you can really hear that you can start making some really interesting riffs in E minor or any other scale that you want. Let's keep this as is. I'm gonna show you the next section, which are a bunch of letters as you can see there. And if you go to the info view on the left-hand side, it will show you what these letters do. So for example, if we have a look at this first one here, C, that gives you the probability of inverting melody direction, either ascending or descending. So let's have a play with that. Remember, this is a probability. So S is a probability of generating a scale of runs of four notes or more. Let's bring that right to the top. So you can see here that each one of these do some really interesting things. But for example, the last two, one and two, one basically is a probability that the first note in the riff will appear later in the melody. Obviously the higher it is, the more chance that it's going to appear. And the two is the chance that the first two notes in the melody will reappear in the melody later. So that's pretty cool. The other thing you've got here are the length of the notes, and that's this section here. So you've got W for whole length of note, H is half of length of a note, and then you've got quarter notes. E is what these are at the moment, which are eighth notes, and then you've got smaller notes, which are 16th and 32 notes. So let's make them smaller. We'll go and select a chance that they're going to be, quite a good chance that they're going to be 16th notes, because that's all we've selected here. But you can select a combination of eighth notes and sixteenth notes. We'll make the chance of eighth notes be much higher. And we'll select, we'll make the sixteenth notes just a little bit higher. So we've got a bit of both. So you can hear kind of the, the control and the texture is, I think it's pretty nice. So we can maybe extend this to two bars by clicking here and selecting two. So it will just create a whole new section here. Now the other thing you've got is the probability of accents. So this means it's definitely gonna happen. And seven means it's gonna happen on some notes.
Now, the other thing you've got here is a section which will randomize all the intervals, randomize the durations and the accents, or we can randomize all of the parameters. This is the range for velocity up here. So we can reduce the range so it's relatively quiet, or we can bring it right to the top there. And you can see there that it's randomizing these velocities. You can also randomize the start and ending position of the pitch for the selection. Make it quite low. And you can also select the maximum range for the velocity. So while this is playing, you can actually go ahead and play chords on top of that. And because this is an E minor, it's quite easy for me to play some chords on top. So let's just take a listen. I mean, that's really nice and it's so easy to do. And every time you do this, you're getting a different variation and it's all really unique and it's really, really musical. So this is a new variation. Let's go ahead and play those exact same chords that we had before in E minor. So there you go. I mean, E minor is obviously a relatively sad sounding chord combination. So yeah, what do you guys think of this? I think this is a super powerful tool. It's a really cheap Max for Live device and it's available today. I've got a link in my description if you want to check it out. So the developer of Riffs has kindly offered to supply a 20% discount voucher. It will be in the description of my YouTube page. It's already cheap at $20. So I mean, there's really nothing to lose.